Yesterday at school, one of my students asked me what my practice routine is, and uh, it's kind of easier to, to show it. I mean, I, I could just say it, but um, this is what I do. I'm just, I'm a very, for as loosey-goosey as I am about some things, I'm very systematic about my practicing. Um, so I just start with long tones, and I just, uh, yeah, I just start in the middle of the horn and go down. Uh, so I'm going to edit a lot of this video out because um, it might be a really long video and incredibly boring to watch, but I'll, uh, I'll just share the highlights of what I do and, and talk along the way.
stay hydrated. And if you drink coffee when you play, don't put any sugar or cream in it. You don't want that stuff inside your instrument. All right, this next exercise that I do, um, I just created it for myself because I wanted a way to kind of run all the seventh chords um, through the range of the horn. So uh, I'll, I'll tell you the formula and then I'll run it and I'll kind of break it down the first time. So major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, half diminished seven, fully diminished seven, then I go up a half step and start the pattern over again. Uh, so yeah, um, you know, I run this either two or three octaves. I'm just trying to get the whole range of the horn, um, trying to get the good notes with the difficult notes. I'll work them all in there. Um, yeah, so here's what it sounds like. That's the major seven, now the dominant seven. Now minor seven. Half diminished. Then I go up a half step and run the whole exercise again. Always take time to relax, rest, get rid of any tension in your hands, in your face especially. And after you get, you know, up to that upper register, like the notes are so close together. Um, 
And this is where, you know, if I wasn't filming this, I'd have uh, my phone in front of me, you know, using the tuner, just to know. Um, but there's also something about not knowing, and I know this sounds really contradictory, but not everything's going to be perfect, and it doesn't have to be perfect, because you're practicing. Um, you're just, you know, you're just exploring, and, you know, there's some things you've probably heard me do in this video already where you're like, wow, you know, it's perfect, but know that it didn't start there. I've just been doing it for a while, and part of practicing is, you know, doing something really challenging, like for me, the Bach Partita in the upper register. That's really hard, um, but some things are familiar just so I can relax, you know, so like the scale exercise, you know, even though I'm working and my brain is definitely going and like, you know, figuring out where I am, um, at the same time, it's, it's familiar. So my practicing is, is both challenging and familiar. And, you know, a lot of it depends on how much time I have. Um, if I have a lot of time, you know, I dig more into the unfamiliar uh, to really work through those challenges. When, uh, you know, I have a short period of time, you know, I kind of just do the basics, you know, just focusing on my tone, getting my fingers moving, you know, just approaching it like that. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this, this helps.